everybody, welcome to Speedway Motors Tech Talk. We all know that a stout rear axle is critical to putting your horsepower to the ground. Over the years, the Ford 9-inch has emerged as the industry standard due to its strength and relative ease of service. Here at Speedway Motors, we offer a huge variety of Ford 9-inch parts, and that includes our fully assembled third members. These are made here in our shop in Lincoln, Nebraska, and today we're going to talk about the improvements that we've made to some of the individual components that go into these, and then we'll take a trip over to the assembly shop and show how it's done. One of the things that makes a 9-inch great is the dropout third member. It makes it easy to pull it apart, it's easy to service it, it's easy to make gear ratio changes, and one of the critical things that we have done to improve the strength and durability of our third members is by starting with the housing itself. Our housings are made out of nodular iron, and a stock housing is made out of just gray cast iron. Now, nodular iron has greater resistance to fatigue as well as shock loads, which is just exactly what you want in something like a third member. In addition to being made from a superior material, another advantage to the Speedway Motors carrier over the crusty old stock units is that it's just generally been reinforced in critical places so that it's stronger and even more resistant to fatigue. And that reinforcement is actually significant enough that you can feel it. Picking up a Speedway Motors housing, it's like four pounds heavier than the stock unit. And that comes from all of this additional bracing and reinforcing ribs that we've added to these. In addition to the extra reinforcement that's on the front, you can see more areas of improvement when you flip these around. So inside you can see the pinion support has been significantly improved on the Speedway Motors housing. This was a known weakness on stock housings, and so we've added a ton of material around the pinion support to make that area stronger. Another big improvement is the bearing caps. Now the stock caps are cast and they're kind of spindly. The Speedway Motors caps are forged. They have a ton of extra material as well as a reinforcing rib that's in line with the fasteners. Add to that the billet steel adjuster nuts compared to the stamp steel adjuster nuts on the stock housing, and there's just a ton of extra rigidity in here to maintain your setup. Finally, on top of all of that extra reinforcement, the Speedway Motors carrier uses a milled surface for the gasket, which greatly reduces the chance for leaks. The improved components that we use in our assembled third members don't end at the carrier housing. We also address another known weakness in Ford 9 inches, and that is the pinion support. We use what's called the Daytona pinion support, and these were developed by Ford in the 60s for NASCAR racing. They're made out of nodular iron, just like the carriers. They have a bigger bearing with more support around the bearing and also improved oiling and a machined gasket surface. Assembled third members are available with a variety of differential and spool options for 28, 31, and in some cases even 35 spline axles. The most common types that we use are a helical gear style limited slip, a clutch style limited slip, full spools from standard to ultralight, as well as mini spools. There's also a wide range of ring and pinion options available. Street third members are available from a 3.0 gear down to a 456, and race third members are available from a 350 gear all the way down to a 733 with both a standard and a lightened ring gear. Lightened ring gears are typically used in circle track racing applications where the aim is to reduce the rotating mass and reduce the inertia in the rear end. So a lot of times you'll see a lightened ring gear used with a lightened or an ultralight spool. In addition to the high quality individual components, another key piece of what makes a Speedway Motors assembled third member is the crew of skilled technicians who assemble them. We're gonna take a trip over to the assembly shop and see what that process looks like. We're here in the shop where our assembled third members are built, and Kyle here is gonna walk us through what it takes to take all of these individual pieces off the shelves at Speedway Motors and turn them into one of our assembled third members. So first we're gonna take our ring gear, we're gonna put it on our hot plate. We're gonna take our pinion gear, and first we're gonna install the Daytona bearing. So we're gonna push this down until we get to our desired force to make sure it is pressed. So why do you guys use a solid spacer instead of a crush sleeve? We use a solid spacer on all of our gears that we assemble. That way, for one, the customer can change the yoke out, tighten it back down to the 160 foot pounds. Also, it keeps the bearing spaced to the exact ideal mm -hmm. resistance we want. Next, we'll be putting our Daytona pinion support on. For the production purposes, we've already installed our races into the pinion support. Next, we will put our front pinion bearing in. We will also press this bearing to make sure it is installed as far as it needs to be. 
Next, we will take our pinion seal and press this in the assembly. We will put on the yoke. All the Speedway center sections will come with a 1310 style yoke. So what I'm noticing as you're going through this process is that you guys, since you do this all day every day, you know what spacer goes with what gear. You know what PSI to press to when you're pressing the bearings on. That's not something that if you're just doing it home in the garage and you do one every 10 years or whatever, that you're gonna have access to that information. No, this is, we do so many, it's obvious. We know where to start mm -hmm. on the, the spacer. We're within a thou each time. Next, we will do the pinion nut, put a little more Loctite on. So then next, after we've impacted this on, we will torque it, the nut, to the desired spec. We'll check for the rolling torque resistance with our inch-pound torque wrench. We'll put the O-ring on to seal up the pinion support when it's for finished assembly. Now this is in a complete assembly. Next, we will return back to our ring gear. Which we have warmed up, so that way our posi carrier will slide right on. Green gear bolts, we've already applied blue Loctite. Then we'll run them down. At this point, we'll take it and put it on a an axle. We'll take a other piece of an axle to stick in the other side to lock the posi up so that way we can torque the ring gear bolts. At this point, our ring gear is finished assembled with the carrier ready to be stabbed into the case. So now we'll take the ring and pinion that we've already walked through and we're gonna assemble it into our Speedway Motors case and Colton will be doing that for us. Next, we'll be installing the nose bearing He'll put the nose bearing clip in there, which holds it in place. Next, Colton will be applying a little bit of oil to the O-ring. He'll have his desired shim stack for setup. Next, we'll put the carrier in. We're gonna rough in the backlash. Now once we have the backlash set, we will mark the gear and we will check the pattern to see if the pinion shims are correct. So now that we have our desired pattern, Colton will torque down the main caps for the carrier bearings. And lastly, we will put the keepers in so the adjuster rings don't turn. All right, this one's done, ready to go. So that's the great thing about these assembled third members is that they're literally ready to bolt in. These guys do all the hard work, and so all you need to do is bolt it into your housing and you're on down the road. So that's a little bit of a behind the scenes into what goes into these assembled third members. Thanks to everybody for watching.